I think a trip to medical records in the old days, seeing that uh, patients were being turned to collections for really outrageous amounts for reasonable procedures, that was bad. Um, and I felt like an accessory to a crime. We've got to change this system because people are hurting. That's not good for productivity. It's not good for job satisfaction. And it's not good for them too because they're paying so much that they don't need to pay because of this system. And a lot of the money that they're sending to insurance companies, that's money they cannot give their workers and raises. They need to understand that. And they, they need to understand that they're, they've been taken to the cleaners for years and years, that they're wasting money. Uh, so much of what we spend on healthcare does not go to improve somebody's health or get someone well. The problem of price gouging and irrational price variation is absolutely rampant and it only takes one look at a hospital price file um, to know that there is no logic um, other than revenue extraction. What an employer or an employee calls premium, a health insurance company calls that revenue. Who wakes up in the morning wanting to lower their revenues? Nobody. The whole system is built incorrectly. Everybody in that food chain makes more money when costs go up. The health insurance company does, the broker does. If you make commissions, I make commissions off of premium. Premiums go up, I make more money. Hospitals need to fill beds. Doctors get paid more the more services they do, the more prescriptions they do. And it doesn't have to be that way. There's a solution. We've been solving this problem for 20 years. We will charge what the market will bear. Now the problem in healthcare is that oftentimes there is no upper ceiling to what a life can be worth. But why would otherwise savvy business leaders who ruthlessly manage the cost of every other purchase their company makes, overlook, ignore what has become their second or third largest line item on their P&L? It's because of what I call healthcare's big lie. The lie is simple. You can't control the cost of healthcare. We realize we can charge a tenth of what a so-called not-for-profit hospital charges and still be profitable. Often it's just unquestioned. Uh, and these companies are leaving a lot of money on the table and getting ripped off in many ways they just don't acknowledge. I'm looking myself in the mirror every morning and trying to figure out how do I justify participating in a system that is rife with conflicts of interest. We tend to profit from our clients' misery and I'm not okay with that.